This is a map of my friend's survival base. Or at least this is what it looks like after I ruined it. And if you're gonna ask why I would even commit such an act, well kid, we're at war. Now the EchoCraft server has been split into two factions, the caves and the cliffs. Last episode, I joined the caves team and successfully sabotaged the cliff space with a green powered boat bomb. And to double down on the prankage, I helped my teammate RecRap steal an entire mountain from their base. Well, as one might expect, the cliff members retaliated. Okay, let's see what Sully's going on about. What? Huh? Oh my god. You seeing this for the first time? Jeez. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's... It's madness! Our once beautiful cave is now an open concept that you'd see in a home and garden TV show. And needless to say, I was absolutely stunned by the sheer size of this prank. ZL and DC, the two guys mining the hole, were doing this while we were at our base. Right under our noses. Well, okay, I guess technically above our noses? R regardless. GG gentlemen. But if you think we're gonna let this slide and give our enemy the W in this war, you're wrong. Cause it's our move now. A few days after our cave was exposed to the sunlight, fellow caver and teammate Soli came to me with an idea for a prank. Needless to say, I was stoked when he came to me asking for my assistance. But as I asked for more details on said prank, he said he would only reveal the details at the meeting. And yes, I'm with you. I had no idea there was a meeting. I mean, do I need to prepare slides? Will lunch be provided? I mean, these are the questions that I need answers to. Sorry, got a little ahead of myself there. Uh, we agreed to meet up later, as Soli needed to prepare a couple things before we start. So, I decided to hop in a single player world and practice my speedrunning for another video that I'm working on. However, my solitary training was short lived, because shortly into my run, I got an uneasy message from him. So, here I am, sitting in this random single player world. And Soli is in dire need of my help. I mean, there's a wither in our base, probably destroying everything. Was this a part of Soli's plan? Was was the cliff people pranking us again? Listen, I mean, I can't be certain. The only thing I can be sure of is that my friend needs my help. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, and I can't believe I'm saying this, with extreme caution and hesitation, I joined the Echo Crowd server, ready for a fight. Really? Everything good? And now, funny story, apparently this tension boils down to miscommunication. Because when Soli said portal, he didn't mean nether portal. Oh, no, 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 no. He meant the end portal. All that panic for nothing. Uh, but, but, okay, on the plus side, our base is safe. Downside is that Soli still needs my help taking down the wither. Now, normally, this is no sweat. I mean, just lob arrows at that thing until it's dead. However, I'm currently equipped with gear so bad, it's essentially the equivalent of wearing dirt for armor. Chief, 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 what are you doing? The best this armor is gonna do is keep the ladies away from you. Come with me, we'll get you sorted out. This, we need to do better than this. Okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. Come on. All right. Send this with. We're gonna make him pay for all of the griefing he's done to us. This is uh this is the time solely where the commander would normally give the speech. I don't know if you feel like you're ready for that, but if you want to give me the mantle of responsibility, 
I will encourage the soldiers with my words. Is this something you've prepared earlier? Not even a little. Oh my god, okay. I forgot how to fly Elytra for a little bit. What was that? <laughs> That's a chunk loader. What the heck is going on? Alright, I'm very confused. <laughs> but, you know what? I'm ready for this. Alright. Okay, where is he? Alright. I can hear him. I can hear him. I can see that we've got the fight going. Oh! oh! I can hear him. I, I heard the explosion. I can hear him. There he is! Yeah. There he is! Let's do this! Come on, Sully! Come no. on, this is for the for the server! <laughs> We're gonna need Please. more arrows! We did not bring enough! <laughs> we didn't bring enough! Yes, I got him! Yes! Yeah, I got a hit! I am so with it. Oh, come on! Oh god! Whoa! Oh gosh! Soli, I'm fighting, man! With the wither slain, Soli informed me that this was a part of his plan. And if you're wondering what fighting a wither in the end has to do with pranking back our friend, I, I mean, frenemies, I, <clears throat> I mean, enemies, you're not alone. But Soli was persistent and refused to answer any of my questions until we were at the quote unquote meeting. So it looks like I'll return to practicing my speed running until further notice. Chief and Wreck, we are gathered here today. No, 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 that sounds like a wedding. Mwah! I do, I do! I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now that we're happily married, feel free to get us a gift off of our wedding registry. Marital ceremonies aside, you remember how Soli needed to finish his preparations? Well, apparently he spent this time gathering shulker boxes full of lava buckets, which I already thought was crazy. But then he took me to the end for the big reveal. Right, when you get to the other side, fly away immediately. Ooh, should I? Immediately. So Soli, you, you're giving me this information. Okay. Yep, you can't be hanging around, otherwise that dude will get angry. What dude? He'll start shooting at you. Oh, the snow golem? No, 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 worse. Am I missing something? The wither. Oh, as as that. Jump through here. Is there another Run one? Away. Yes, I put another one. So <laughs> So what I'm, what I'm not telling you is that I had to kill another one by myself. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> he got away. <laughs> okay, but fly this, away this immediately. This, yeah, uh, immediately. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Woo! Go! Go! You See? magnificent Always genius. Good. What we're looking at is an obsidian farm powered by the wither. Do, do, do you want to see the spoils of war? Do I? Absolutely. On, we are all prepped and ready. Check, check the chests. Just, just check the chests. Holy freaking solely. Um, yeah, and then, um... Oh my god, Zoli, I... There's more than yesterday! After Soli finished his big show and tell, he explained that he wanted to use the obsidian and lava to cover the entire cliff space, transforming their frosty mountain peak into something straight out of a fiery volcano. But, you know, I sat there, 
shifting in my seat. Each block of obsidian takes 1.6 seconds to mine under the best possible conditions, meaning our enemy would have to spend more than 22 hours to clean up our mess. This, th this was borderline griefing. We were about to do permanent damage to the enemy. A and don't get me wrong, I, I wanted to win this war, but was I willing to go to this extent? Absolutely. <laughs> Covering up the cliff space took well over 50,000 blocks of obsidian and more than 15 man hours to complete. And you know, despite a couple of setbacks, it wouldn't be ideal to give you that. No, a bit less than ideal. One might even call it unideal. Yes, in ideal. Oh no! Oh, no! Okay, new thing too. Don't bring the lava to us. Less than ideal, Soli. Less that, than ideal. That, that, that was less than ideal. Uh, you got another? Oh, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> that shulker pushed me! <laughs> I swear, it's like every video, I have a stupid moment where I unintentionally make a fool of myself. But, uh, ooh, excuse me. But, as I was saying, even with a couple setbacks, we were able to pull this mega prank together, solidifying the caves team with a heavy lead against the enemy cliffs in our prank war. Or at least, that's what I thought. What? Oh my god! This is... This is totally our base. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh my god, they flooded our base. These are all source blocks. Oh my god. Our base is completely flooded. Now, I will wholeheartedly admit that I am impressed by the cliff's retaliation. And I would like to say that this evens the playing field. But us cavers are pulling out our Uno reverse card. We knew our base was a ticking time bomb. It was gonna be compromised at any moment. We just didn't know how. So to combat our base's demise, we were able to create a fallout shelter, a secondary cave base that was meant for the sole purpose of when our original base was compromised and stacked with enough materials and equipment to last three full prank wars. Let's just say our next prank they'll never see it coming. <laughs>